Hello and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art, and today I wanted to talk to you about the painting The Watering Trough by John Sargent Noble. It was painted in the latter half of the 19th century, so probably anywhere from 1870 through the 1890s, and John Sargent Noble was a British artist, and he was actually most famous for his depictions of bird dogs and hunting scenes. Um, He was beloved by the English aristocracy, and they hired him a lot to paint their beloved sporting dogs. So that's really kind of how he was most famous. But he also, of course, painted some images of horses. And this painting is really interesting because it is a slight departure of how he often would paint. This is a depiction of working horses, and you see three of them in their tack um, at a watering trough with a small little donkey in the middle of them, and they're all getting a much-deserved drink. Um, We know that these are working horses and probably cab horses because of a few things that I wanted to talk to you about. If you look at the depiction of the buildings and the setting behind the horses, you see lots of different row houses, multiple stories, all sort of packed together. On the far right-hand side, off in the distance, you see a lamppost. So all of these are signifiers of an urban setting. This is some type of large city, probably London, but we really don't know. Now, when we focus back on the horses, as I mentioned, they're all in their tack. Um, Two of the animals' bridles match. So they are probably cab horses from the same company. And if we look on the very far right-hand side and look at the chestnut, he is still actually attached to the carriage. That is a handsome carriage, and it was invented in 1835 by Joseph Hansom, and they became the most popular carriage in Europe and in America for people to use basically as taxis to get from point A to point B. The automobile, as we know it, was not invented until 1885, so they were not in existence to get people to meetings and various places that they need to be. So people relied on horses and carriages. And one of the major advantages of the handsome cab is that it was very light, so people could move about in it quickly. It only took one horse to bear it, and it could move from point A to point B very quickly due to this lightness. So it became extremely popular. Another reality of working horses and working animals at this time was there really weren't any laws to protect them. Um, There also really weren't any traffic laws in a lot of these larger cities. So there were collisions, there there was a lot of mistreatment of the animals, um, so much so, in fact, that author Anna Sewell wrote her very famous children's book, Black Beauty, in 1877, which in part talked talks about the plight of working horses, cab horses, and how they were so horribly mistreated. And it was due to her writing this book that laws were enacted to protect working horses, other beasts of burden, uh, to ensure that they got proper water, proper food, proper care, that they didn't have to bear too heavy of a load, things like that. So um, the, the plight of working horses was actually really kind of volatile at this time. Now, of course, Noble is not focusing on that. He's focusing more of the charm of the scene because you have two horses to the left, the 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 chestnut we've already mentioned off to the right, and then muscling sort of in between them all is this adorable little donkey all geared up to pull some kind of load, probably a little cart, some kind of deliveries or something maybe for a local business. And he is muscling in on in the midst of them, getting a drink of water. And the chestnut to the right is sort of looking over at him as almost as if to say, you know, who's this guy? So it's a very cute, very charming scene. And Noble was really trying to focus more on that. Um, beautiful depictions of horses because he was known for doing things like that. He was known for his sporting animals. So he really understood and knew the anatomy of horses and knew how to paint them quite accurately. Thank you for joining me for Art Minutes, and I hope you look forward to hearing more in the future.